But I, I want to thank the Fargo Forum for all the poems that I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do read the newspaper. I think that it, for, in terms of poetry and terror, the new confession poetry is such that how do we how do we speak to what we've been, we've internalized? It's a different kind of poetry of witness that, I, that, I, that I'm thinking about here. Um, so. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll read this and then and then Al. I will also have a visual aid to, to this, this poem. Uh, they will be the scare quotes. <laughs> I think it's interesting that we call them scare quotes. <laughs> Object trajectory, this poem is called. I am thinking about how many tons of metal and gallons of petrol it takes to take a person across town versus how many miles a person must walk across a desert before she can be said to be safe. I am thinking about how many places said person might drive or walk or bike to versus how all the other species go where they go to and whether they go by crawling, slithering, or flying or otherwise. I am thinking about the word rescue, in fact, and what it means in discrete contexts as in 19 cats were rescued from a North Fargo home where their owner was said to be found sleeping on a dirty mattress under his truck versus various reasons were given for why police were initially prevented for coming to the rescue of stunned citizens on the island of Detroit just outside of Oslo. Sometimes I think about how all of this pertinent information works its way through us, and the end result is that I think I should be thanking my lucky stars I made it to the sucky weekend. I can think about the dog trainer in Kentucky wanting to adopt two of the rescued cats and the relative cost of taking said cats across the Midwest versus, say, adopting an African child or fixing said kid's cleft palate or, say, taking a Somali family across the desert where rescue operations are said to be underway despite being hindered by various so-called insurgent factions. I am thinking about the armed and dangerous world and all the valid arguments against leaving the comfy chair. What's more, my horoscope today is a mere two-star affair and even says, vanish while you can. <laughs> I shit you not. <laughs> I am thinking long and hard about how to take such advice. I think I get what reading between the lines gets you. And yet, that's pretty much what I'm about. It's getting dangerous to be thinking too hard, while taking the long view has gone the way of the dinosaurs, more or less. Even five years down the road sounds like more hard travel. Five years down the road sounds like a kind of vanishing while I can, before said dinosaurs come to the rescue. 